Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I am doing a roundup of some fall favorites, some pieces that are both new in my closet slash old in my closet that I'm excited to rewear again. But since it is the end of August and September is literally right around the corner, I always have this rule of not shopping for summer things once August hits. And so I'm really excited to break out a couple of pieces that have been sitting in my closet for a few months now, ever since it started to get warm, as well as some new additions from Farfetch that I am looking forward to sharing with you guys. So in this video, you are going to be getting a new Farfetch code that I will share down below. All the terms and conditions are listed down below as well. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Alyssa Lenore. I do these kinds of luxury fashion related videos as well as vlogs. So if you like the vibe, you like the energy, please hit that subscribe button as well as notifications will say so you don't miss new videos. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to get started with my Farfetch haul. I have three really solid pieces that I'm excited to share. One, two, three. I'm missing something. Okay, got it. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I'm a big fan of Totem and Kate. And so I do have some pieces from those brands to share with you all from Farfetch. The first one is the Scarlet Cardigan in black. So I actually already have this cardigan in two other colors. Um, one that I found on sale and one that I got with one of my gift cards. So I had the taupe color, a camel color, and I recently got this black one from Farfetch. Honestly, I have try my hardest to find something that is I guess like a dupe but honestly this Kate sweater is iconic and I love it so much. I brought this in camel to my trip with La Mer in uh, Victoria, Canada like a week ago. I just loved the way that it draped. The sleeves are just excellent. And so I really, really love this cardigan. I'm going to throw this on and then we're just gonna have it on for the rest of the video. So what I love about this sweater in particular is the way that the waist just comes in. This is not fully buttoned, this is, this is just with one. And then look at the way these sleeves just kind of like billow. I would suggest getting this sweater in your usual size. I typically grab a medium in most things and this is the medium on me. I love it. I like to wear this open. Honestly for that trip I really just packed like white tops, black tops, white pants, black pants and I called it a day and it was easy to just swap things out with jackets and blazers. So I got a couple of different outfits from like the same kind of core outfit and then was just able to switch things up with knits and other things to layer with. And for fall, I love layering. It's what I miss so much when it's summer. Even in the summer, I try and layer with like button downs, but yeah, obviously I'm more comfortable in layers once it starts to get cooler. Next up is this jacket from Totem that I really, really love. So Totem actually does run big. And for this jacket, I got it in an extra small. I was able to try it on in store, so I was able to order the right size. And this is just a kind of cute, on-the-go jacket, you know? And it's just so, so cute. Is it reversible? I feel like it could, if I really wanted it to be, you know? Don't you think? I mean, I guess if I don't mind the tag hanging out. But yeah, I love Totem. I have so many of their sweaters. So again, this is the extra small and you can see that it's already like hitting me well on the arm. I did also just do like a massive closet clean out for coats and outerwear that have just been like set aside. I was able to get a lot of pieces out to new homes. So with a lot of pieces leaving, I was able to make room for some other pieces to come in. Last one for this Farfetch haul is a bag, and this one is actually from Kate. And I've had my eye on this bag for such a long time because I missed out on the Row Everyday bag. I am a huge fan of my Jody, and for fall, I really love the bigger totes just because I feel like it balances an outfit so much better. If I compare it with my Jody, You'll see they're pretty comparable, but different silhouettes. Obviously, this one is a little bit more straight lined and obviously no texture because this has the classic Bottega weaving. I love this bag and this one's in a dark brown. So this one is in black and gold and I think it's just really pretty and great for throwing a lot of things in. 
And I just love this silhouette for the bag. And it has a little notch detail. I actually really like Kate bags. They also have this one in a smaller size. And I believe this comes in a couple of different colors as well. So that's it for my Farfetch haul. The next few pieces that I'll be sharing are things that have already been in my closet. And I'm just really excited to wear them again. So I think this is a good kind of, I don't know, I guess like lists of like essential basics because all these things I have worn so many different times, so many different combinations, and I just know that I can wear them for so many more years and so many more seasons to come. For fall when it comes to my, I guess, wardrobe DNA or my outfit DNA, I just wear a lot of really simple and basic stuff. So I'll wear like a simple white tank top and pair it with white trousers and then add on a belt to it or vice versa, like black tank top or t-shirt with black trousers. And then I just like to cinch things up with a nice belt. So if you guys watched my last Farfetch video, I actually got this one in brown, but I love this belt. This is great for just kind of adding a little something to an outfit, helps set apart the top and bottom and just emphasize the waistline. For my outfits, I just really love to have gold kind of pop against my white, black or like brown outfits and yeah, necklaces, belts, jewelry, and then of course like throw on a bag. Over the years I've realized that I just really love either cropped jackets on my frame or really long coats. So I had this Celine jacket that I've had for a while and I finally got to wear it last week and I just love it so much. The boxy silhouette is one of my favorites for my frame and also super long coats, a little bit more tailored in the shoulders so I'm really excited to wear this um, Amiri coat again. I got this one last year. And then on the trip that I went on last week, I wore this Saint Laurent blazer as well as this Celine jacket. And then another great staple for your wardrobe would be blazers, trench coats. I have both a cropped trench coat, a super oversized vintage Burberry one, and these are pieces that I love to layer in because I just feel so comfortable in them. And I think when it comes to creating your core fall slash winter wardrobe, you want things that you know you'll be comfortable in, but are also going to keep you warm, that hang really well on you. There are just certain things that will work better on my frame and then certain things that won't work on my frame. So I think it's all about experimenting. And then once you realize what silhouettes work best for you and what you genuinely love to wear, on repeat because I love to just like repeat everything I wear. I think like this summer I wore like the same four pants and that was it. So yeah, I think it's just all about knowing really what you feel really good in and then if you know that you're going to be wearing something constantly then it's worth, you know, getting an investment piece for it. For footwear, I really loved chunky boots, heeled square toe boots, and then I also actually added a new pair of loafers into my collection. My current favorite chunky boots are from Anina Bing. I just really love how comfortable they are and they're great to wear in winter, especially when pairing it with like maybe a cropped puffer. I just think it's well balanced. Or if I'm doing trousers, I really love a slightly heeled boot and my favorites are these Manu Atelier boots. I think they should be coming back this season, so keep an eye out if you have been eyeing them. I believe they come in a couple of different colors as well. But for fall, I added a pair of shoes. So these are obviously, well duh, from Celine. I got these chunky Dior loafers like maybe two years ago and I wore them a few times, but then to be honest, like it literally just said like Christian Dior on it. And I don't know, I was just kind of not so into it anymore. So ever since I sold those, I have been on the hunt for a solid pair of loafers. Gucci loafers are still a classic. I still have those, I still love them, but I do find that it's trickier to wear for my frame sometimes. Like sometimes it'll just make my foot look really small when it comes to a fall outfit. But I got these Celine loafers and they're super chunky and just really love, I've just been really into the Triumph logo. I did have to size up in these. So these ones I grabbed in a size 40 and I just think they're going to look really great with trousers and even with like maybe a midi dress or a skirt. Really excited to wear these for the fall. Anytime you are walking around 
in brand new shoes, please bring band-aids with you because you never know when the shoe is going to betray you before it molds to your foot. So lesson learned from lots of days that I decided that a full day in the city where I was going to be walking over 10,000 steps was a good time to break in new shoes. For footwear, honestly for fall, I'm heavily rotating between boots and sneakers mainly. For loafers, it depends what I'm doing. I wouldn't wear these loafers on a day that I know I'm walking around everywhere. For sure, always going to opt for boots or sneakers in that sense. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for my little fall favorites and my mini fall haul from Farfetch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you are interested in any of the items, I will do my best to link certain things down below. Some things that have been in my closet for a little bit longer might not be available, but I'll do my best to link something similar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!